Tonight on Nightstand... We play Illegal Alien Star Search. Let's start the competition off with a little nookie. I love this country! One lucky immigrant is going to win a green card. And this isn't about to have to so leave an expectant. Kato Kalen. Then, if I say I'm a whore, I'm a whore! Teenage hard body prostitutes. These tricks are not for kids. Comedy just doesn't get any more better. And now, your host for Nightstand, Dick Dietrich! Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. You know, there's an old slogan that the Statue of Liberty is fond of saying. It goes, give me your tired, your bored, your muddled masses yearning to breed freely. <laughs> yes, Lady Luck once welcomed foreigners to this country, but now with anti-immigration movements like California's Preparation 187, <laughs> we're closing our borders and saying to these people, no mas. Dung da kwa. Jing and of course, get out and stay out. <laughs> Is this closed door policy right? Our first guest says no. Eight years ago, she snuck into this country to pursue her lifelong dream of becoming an entertainer. Please welcome Nookie Lee Jones. Why do you want to come to America? Because, Dick, life very hard in my country. Mm -hmm. And what exactly is your country? Oh, originally, I'm from North Vietnam, Dick. Yes, of course. We fought against each other in the Korean War. <laughs> now, uh, what was your first uh, experience with American pop culture? Was it drinking Coca-Cola, watching American movies, listening to American music? No, it was American G.I. blow up my village. Uh... It's okay, though, because I soon hear about America from all G.I. to come to where I live in Kwangpe Valley. Ooh, that makes you a valley girl. <laughs> Forgive me, that's a little American humor at your expense. That's okay, Dick. I understand American humor very well. When I was a little girl, Bob Hope used to come to my village. Ooh. But the American words I learned were, hey, I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so you came to America, but once you got here, Nookie Lee, it was not easy street, was it? No. Once I get here, I no can find work as singer. Sorry, you need green card. Sorry, you need green card. Finally, I take job working in sweatshop. Ooh. Now, for those of you who don't know, a sweatshop is a place where illegal aliens work making... Sweatshirts, sweatpants, and sweaters. I think, why me? Why me? I no want much. I no take welfare. I no take food stamp. Why not Yankee government give me green card so I can live in Las Vegas and be like Raja Maneri with a Z? Ooh, hey. Well, you tell a compelling story, Miss Nookie Lee. And, uh, sir, what do you think about what do you think about her story? Well, uh, I have sympathy for her, Dick. But the bottom line is, she's here illegally, and she should be deported. Okay. And what? Uh, well, uh, what is your name? What do you do, sir? Uh, Colin Brown, and I'm a field director for the Immigration and Naturalization Service. Ooh, the INS is here tonight, huh? Yeah. And I mean, I feel sorry for her plight, but. She is here illegally. She should be sent back. Yeah, but if it weren't for illegal alien, who would bust table or clean the house or mow the lawn? Ooh, well, she's right, Colin. Without foreigners, there'd be no Chinatowns, no Koreatowns, no Little Italys. Only Americans would be living in bad sections of town. <laughs> look, look, I have nothing against all foreigners. I mean, for all I care, Nookie could be a $35 an hour call girl or a or a bank robber or a serial killer, I don't care, as long as she's here legally. Ooh, well, folks, as you can see, this is a volatile issue that would normally make for a boring show. <laughs> but tonight, we're going to have our guest aliens perform for you. The winner will receive a green card we happen to have. Unfortunately, the three non-winners will be immediately deported. Oh. Audience, what do you say? You're responsible enough to handle this? Yeah. So let's start the competition off with a little Nookie, huh? <laughs> nookie, what are you going to do for us? Oh, Dick, I'm going to sing a song called Tum Gum Guy. What is that, Some Dumb Guy? No, Dick, Tum Gum Guy. It's a very beautiful story, Dick. It's about a little girl. 
She go for a walk in woods one day. Uh-oh, did a big bad wolf jump out and scare her? Oh, Dick, that's Tum Gum Goo. <laughs> Tum Gum Guy, big dragon jump out. But little girl not so scared. Instead, she say, hey, dragon, I'm very hungry. So, dragon, take her home and make her lunch. Paper wrap chicken, spicy string beans. But hey, I want to tell ya. <laughs> hey, Nookie, why don't you just sing that song and take us in the commercial? How about it, folks? Uh, yeah. You got it, Dick. All right. ahead of us. Go, Nookie, go! Okay. Have you ever used a bathroom after Rush Limbaugh? We want to hear your story. Give us a call. On an unfinished nightstand, he talked kinky sex to her over the internet. And now, he's going to meet his computer lover for the very first time. Mom? It's love at first megabyte. Only on Nightstand. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're back with Nightstand's illegal alien star search. And I've asked INS field director Colin Brown to join Nookie on the panel. Okay. Remember tonight, one lucky immigrant is going to win a green card while the three losers will be deported on the first train overseas. Uh, that's the game. Okay. Our next contestant came to this country seeking a career in the movies, but you're more likely to have seen his face driving a cab or making you a Slurpee. Please welcome Lok Shlamanan Queen Badardashi. Lok Shlamanan, welcome to the show. Thank you. You are a badass dude for having me here. Thank uh, you. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Thank you. Now, uh, uh, Lako, you came to America, but before you came here, wh where did you live? I, I am from Bangladesh, Dick. You ever been there, Dick? Uh, no, but I saw the concert by George Harrison. Okay. Um, and what, what did you do there in Bangladesh? I was a movie actor. Ooh. Bangladesh number one star in 1988. Wow. How about it? Number one star, you must have made a lot of money. Over 26 billion bougies a dead year alone. Wow. Hey, that's a lot of bougies. How much is that in American? 162 bucks. <laughs> that's why I'm dying to come to the USA. Because I know if I make it here, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. <laughs> Now, Mr. Colin Brown, how about it? Even you must be moved by Locko's story of determination. Come on, Dick. Stories like his are a hundred thousand bougies a dozen. Well, maybe, but you haven't seen his acting talent yet. So, uh, I understand you're going to do some, some of your favorite scenes from some of your favorite movies for us? That's right, Dick. Since I learned all my very good English from great American film classic, I would like to do my favorite scenes from my favorite movies. Okay, well, folks, give it up for Locko. I would like to do my all-time number one favorite, Mr. Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. <laughs> you think I'm funny? No, you just said that I am funny. You think I'm some kind of freaking clown to make you laugh? You tell me why I am funny. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, and now, now, for a complete change of pace, I would like to do my all-time number one favorite, Mr. Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. <laughs> You're talking to me. <laughs> Are you 
you talking to me? You must be talking to me because there's nobody else here. <laughs> Laco, we got time for one more. Who you, who's it going to be? Okay, now is my all-time number one favorite, <laughs> Mr. Jim Carrey in As Ventura Pet Detective. Oh. <laughs> ask you me. I need to ask you some question. May I bother you with some mint or binaka? I'm going to stink the place. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much. Okay, coming up, more illegal alien star search with a Scandinavian beauty who gets paid to lie down on the job. Stay tuned.